Welcome to the startup lesson. Today we'll learn the engine start procedure for the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 9. Press the spacebar to begin. This lesson will consist of the following parts. Preliminaries, starting the engine, and warming up the engine. Press the spacebar to proceed. Let's begin with the preliminary checks before you start the engine. Ensure that the idle cutoff control is in the cutoff position. Early apt. Press the spacebar to confirm. Check that the undercarriage selector lever is down. Press the spacebar to confirm. Ensure that the drop tank's fuel cock is set to the off position. Fully forward. Press the spacebar to confirm. Check that the main tank's fuel cock is set to the off position. Press the spacebar to confirm. We'll now test the operation of the flying controls. Let's begin with a rudder check. Look back at the tail of the aircraft and check the rudder pedals for full movement. Ensure that the rudder is moving freely. Use NUM4 or NUM6 keys to look back if you're not using track IR or a mouse. In order to move the rudder pedals, press the Z and X keys or move your rudder axis. Now let's check the operation of the elevators. Move the control stick fully forward and fully out. Check the operation of the right aerolon. Watch the right aerolon and move your control stick fully left and right. Now check the operation of the left aerolon. Keep an eye on the left aerolon as you move your control stick fully left and right. Ensure that both magneto ignition switches are set to the off position. Press the spacebar to confirm. Make sure that the fuel tank pressure cock is in the off position. Press the spacebar to confirm. Check that the pneumatic supply pressure is no less than 220 pounds per square inch. Check this with the central needle on the triple pressure gauge. Press the spacebar to proceed. Adjust the airfield altitude setting on the altimeter to zero. Rotate the highlighted knob using the mouse wheel. We'll now check the operation of the flaps. Set the flap control lever to the down position. Press the F key or click the highlighted lever. right and left and ensure that both mechanical flap indicators are up. These are located on the wings. Press the spacebar to confirm. Set the flap control lever to the up position and look at the mechanical flap indicators again to ensure that they went down. Press the F key or click the highlighted lever. Make sure that the sliding hood operates properly. Close the hood and then open it. Press left control plus C to close the HUD and left shift plus C to open the HUD or click the highlighted element. Move the throttle lever forward until the light indication switch on the throttle quadrant is on. Press the non plus key or move the throttle axis forward. Ensure that the word down is lit on the undercarriage light indicator on the left and that the fuel pressure warning light is lit on the right. Retract the throttle lever back to the full up position once you've made sure that the light indicators are working. Press the NUM minus key or move the throttle axis back. Check the level of the fuel tanks. 
Press and hold the highlighted button and watch the fuel level gauge. Release the push button once you've made sure that the fuel tanks are full. All preliminary checks are now done. Now we're ready to start the engine. Press the spacebar to proceed. Set the parking brake to make sure the aircraft remains stationary when the engine starts. Hover the mouse cursor over the highlighted lever and rotate the mouse wheel. Set the main tank's fuel cup to the on position. Press the T key or click the highlighted lever. Open the throttle lever by moving it half an inch to one inch forward. Press the non plus key or move the throttle axis forward. Move the propeller speed control lever fully forward. Press the page up key or move the engine RPM axis forward. Set the carburetor air intake control lever on the left hand side of the cockpit to the filter in operation position, fully forward. Press the H key or click the highlighted lever. Unscrew the engine priming pump. Hover the mouse cursor over a highlighted element and rotate the mouse wheel. Prime the engine by giving the primer five full strokes. Use the insert button or click and hold the primer with the mouse cursor to prime the engine. Operate the hand wobble pump until the low fuel pressure warning light is extinguished, or approximately 9 to 10 full strokes. Use the left control plus insert keys combination, or click and hold the wobble lever with the mouse cursor. Set both magneto ignition switches to the on position to provide power to the engine ignition system. Press left shift plus end and right shift plus end or click the highlighted switches using your mouse. Open the starter and booster coil push button covers. Click the covers in the highlighted area with your mouse. Press the starter and booster coil push button simultaneously. Use the home and delete buttons on the keyboard. As the engine begins to catch, move the idle cutoff lever on the throttle quadrant fully forward using the M key or by clicking it. Then release the starter and booster coil push buttons. If you are unable to start the engine successfully, return the idle cutoff lever to the fully aft position and repeat the process, starting with priming the engine. Good start. Pull back the throttle lever to the idle, fully aft position. Take a look at the oil pressure gauge and ensure that the oil pressure is in the 60 to 120 pounds per square inch range. Press the spacebar to proceed. Close the starter and boost the coil push button covers. Click the covers in the highlighted area with your mouse. Screw down the priming pump. Hover the mouse cursor over the highlighted element and rotate the mouse wheel. Look at the engine speed indicator and adjust the throttle to run the engine at about 1000 to 1200 RPM. Continue to idle the engine at 1000 to 1200 RPM until it warms up to at least 20 degrees Celsius oil temperature on the left gauge in the highlighted area and 60 degrees Celsius coolant temperature on the right gauge. This concludes the engine start lesson. Well done. Press the spacebar to end the lesson.